Zephaniah 3.9. In the end, I will turn things around for the people. I'm going to say to you with full faith, your situation is not over yet. What has happened is not over yet. Your life is not over yet. The dreams you thought you missed, your life is not over yet. The things that you thought you were going to do and you never got to do and now you're later in life and you're looking back, I'm telling you right now, your life is not over yet. And in the end, God gives us a promise to say, I will turn things around. I will turn things around that you forgot about that I could turn around. Joseph in prison, you know, in the pit, the prison, Potiphar's house, and the whole story of Joseph and his brothers threw him in the pit, and then he gets to prison, and Butler and the baker forgets who he is even after he interprets the dreams for them, and, and then he finally gets to Potiphar's house, and then the, the wife throws a curveball and says that he tried to seduce her, and so it just goes on and on. It, it's like it's like Joseph goes from one bad thing to another bad thing, and he's innocent. He's innocent. He's not done anything to the brothers. He's not done anything to Potiphar. He's not done anything to anybody. He's a man of integrity, but everything keeps going the wrong way for this guy. But there comes a time in the end, I will turn things around for you, and all that has happened will be used for that turning point. I will turn things around for you, the people. Satan's grip that's tried to destroy you is going to be broken. Crooked places made straight. Things that you have no power to change. One touch of God. And Joseph is all of a sudden the prime minister of Egypt. So all of a sudden, he's not just turned around to be restored to his brothers. He's the richest man in Egypt. He's got more servants than anybody but Potiphar. He's got more wealth than anybody but the king. And the king said, I'll give you half the kingdom and more if you will make this dream work. And Joseph said, I can do that. And so his turning around. And when the brothers come to see him and he disguised himself, they hadn't seen him for almost 15 years. And he disguised himself. And he didn't talk their language, but he could listen to them talking because they were in trouble and they were in famine. And finally, Joseph said to the servants, everybody leave, leave the room. And the brothers were standing there and Joseph, in their language, says to them, I am Joseph, the brother you threw in the pit. And it says they were filled with fear and fell on the floor and began to weep. And Joseph says, don't be filled with fear. Because you see, God sent me here, not you. Don't you understand that what you did was in the supernatural realm, part of the process and the purpose for me to be in a place now that I can provide for me and my family and my brothers. It was all a God plan. It was all a God strategy. You can't see that kind of a strategy when God is working it out because you don't know what is going on with Joseph. God is first making the person before he makes the position. And so God was doing something in Joseph where he was a broken man, but a healed man. He was a soft-hearted man with wisdom. And he said to the brothers, I will not harm you. And then he says, is, is the youngest son still alive? They said, yeah, he's, he's alive, Joseph. And how dad? He's pretty old, broken-hearted ever since... We lied to him that we threw you in the pit. We told him wild animals ate you up. He's never been the same. He walked with an emotional limp. He's not excited about life. You were the son that he was pleased with. We took that from him. And it says that Joseph sent carts of food. This is famine. Back to Jacob. So the brothers 
had all these carts of food. And then they said to Jacob, Jacob, brace yourself. Joseph is alive. And Jacob says, do not do this to me. They said, no, dad, he's, he's alive. Look at the carts that he sent for you. And it says that Joseph or Jacob's heart stopped. He could not believe that God had turned that man's life around to the point. And the brother said, he's, he's prime minister of Egypt. Your son, your son who has suffered all these years, just let it be known. Every piece of your pain will be used for purpose. Every piece of your brokenness will be used to heal other people. Every piece of the process will be used for you to be a man or woman of integrity who can handle power or authority or anything else because you've been broken inside. In the end, I'll turn things around. 